Body punching is one of the most powerful offensive techniques in boxing. In fact, it creates highlight knockouts just the same as headshot knockouts do. However, it's hard to hit the body clean, let alone score a knockout from one. And the knockout isn't always immediate, there's sometimes a delay. Some warriors endure while others collapse. Here are the top nine boxing's most incredible body shot knockouts. Number 9. Vasil Lomachenko vs. Jorge Leonards Vasil Lomachenko is unlike any other boxer in the world. He moves with incredible agility in the ring, dancing around his opponents with ease and grace while throwing a range of combinations. In the 10th round, lightweight champion Lomachenko, who had been in a tough, tight fight for 9 rounds, broke through with a left to the body from his southpaw position, ending Leonard's challenge. Leonard's was counted out and Lomachenko retained his WBA lightweight belt. Good work from Linares. Really high level stuff. Number 8. Gary Pinaloza vs. Johnny Gonzalez Gonzalez was leading on two judges' scorecards in this bantamweight title fight when Filipino Pinaloza landed a left to the body from his southpaw stance in the seventh round. Gonzalez went to one knee to be called out after the hit, seemed to take all the breath out of his body. Left to the body from Pinaloza and suddenly Gonzalez is down. He's not going to make this. He's going to be counted out. Johnny Gonzalez. Out the gum shield, can't get a breath. I wonder what Oscar De La Hoya is thinking at ringside. Number 7. Arturo Gatti versus Leonardo Doran. Gatti had one of the easier victories in a blood and guts career when he went to the body against big Romanian Doran in their 140 pound title fight in 2004. Doran had never been beaten and had always had a strong chin. Gaddy, though, had learned something from his three fights with Mickey Ward, landing a Ward-style left hook to the body in the second round to knock Doran out. Good left hook to the body by Gaddy. And Doreen goes down. Arturo Gaddy has knocked out Leonard Doreen with a body shot. Followed with a left hook because Doreen had his hands up so high. Another left hook. So he did one, two, three, just to make him put his hands up. Then, boom, there goes the good body shot. Right on the liver. Uh, Arturo Gatti. Number 6. Mickey Ward versus Alfonso Sanchez. When Irish Mickey Ward met Alfonso Sanchez in 1997, nobody expected Ward to be able to hold off the younger man's speed who was regarded as one of the sport's emerging stars. Ward appeared to be following the script that most had expected, with Sanchez landing greater shots. On the judges' cars, Sanchez had won all six completed rounds and had dropped Ward in the fifth. Ward, however, employed the classic up-and-down head-body-head tactic and managed to land a decent left hook to Sanchez's ribs, who failed to answer the count, resulting in one of boxing's most unexpected victories. That was a kidney shot. You can't give up in this game. <laughs> well, I KO winner, Irish Mickey Wall. Number 5. Roy Jones Jr. versus Virgil Hill. Hill had never been stopped before, and he was fast enough to avoid Jones' powerful punches. However, in the fourth round, Jones looped a right hand to the body that sent Hill to the canvas. Hill managed to get himself off the canvas, but he remained bent over as the referee called him out. So far, it's Jones's power over Hill's chair. Oh, right to the body, down Unheard go. of. Unheard of. Yeah. And stop Unheard of. the fight. Please. Well, it was just a sudden shot. Uh, Virgil Hill had been seeing Roy throw the punch, throw the right hand over the through your ribs. It's paralyzing it because it takes. Number four, Gennady Golovkin versus Matthew Macklin. Golovkin was undefeated and on a 26 fight winning run when he fought Britain's Matthew Macklin in 2013. Golovkin's last 13 fights all ended in brutal knockouts, which is no surprise that he had 36 career knockouts out of 41 victories. After dominating the first two rounds, Golovkin was able to pin Macklin against the ropes and land a stunning left hook to the body, dropping Macklin, who was in horrible pain, that lasted longer after the 10 counts were completed. It was Golovkin's 14th knockout victory in a row. 
Set him up with the right uppercut. Didn't want to hit him with it. Here's Andre. It's like an electric jolt to the system with Gennady. Triple G. Number three. Canelo Alvarez versus Liam Smith. When Sal Canelo Alvarez met Britain's Liam Smith in 2016, he was already a well-known fighter. He had only lost once, three years before against Floyd Mayweather. Canelo was, without a question, Mexico's biggest star when he went into the ring that night. Liam Smith was no pushover though. The English man had a solid winning record and was hoping to pull off an upset. Canelo, on the other hand, was far too skillful and controlled the fight from start to end. Smith was knocked out in the seventh round with an overhand right, the first of Smith's professional career. Body shot, and down goes Liam Smith for the first time in his professional career. Trying to fight back here. Great resolve being shown by ah. Smith. Way in around that tough guard, and another body oh, shot. Oh. He's down for a second time. The finish came in the ninth round when Canelo landed a powerful left hook to Smith's body, sending him to the canvas. Oh, and there it is! A third time! Will it be a choke? Canelo Alvarez! Sergio, I think Smith fought about as well as he could tonight. He did not relent. And you know what? 51,000 fans, they came to see a knockout. Number two. Ricky Hatton versus Jose Luis Castillo. Hatton, also known as the Hitman, was one of the most powerful body punchers at junior weight welterweight. When Hatton faced Mexican slugger Jose Luis Castillo in 2007, he was undefeated and regarded as the undisputed king of the 140 pounds. Hatton had a remarkable knockout rate, with 29 knockouts and 42 victories. Hatton would land a devastating left hook to Castillo's body in round four. Castillo's reaction was delayed, but as soon as he felt the intense agony, he took a knee and couldn't get up. Hatton retained his IBO belt and set the stage for a welterweight title bid against Floyd Mayweather. Number 1. Oscar De La Hoya vs Bernard Hopkins In September 2004, Oscar De La Hoya stepped up to middleweight to take on an undisputed middleweight champion, Bernard the Executioner Hopkins. For the first half of the fight, both boxers kept their distance and rarely launched shots. De La Hoya, seeing he was behind on the scorecards, increased his intensity heading into the ninth round. De La Hoya, eager to trade on the inside, exposed himself and collapsed, screaming on the canvas in pain. When the referee reached 10, the crowd was understandably confused. Hopkins delivered a cutting left hook to the body on the inside. It didn't appear to have much behind it, yet it was enough to get the job done. He comes with an uppercut, there's a body shot. Oh, he, he, seven and eight, ten, Oscar de la... Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos. La Hoya is knocked out.